Hey everyone welcome to Aero Raider the Sukhoi Su-33 Flanker D, a carrier-based multi-role fighter aircraft developed by Russia, has played a significant role in naval aviation since its introduction in the 1990s. As of 2025, the Su-33's operational status, design features, capabilities, and challenges provide a comprehensive understanding of its impact and future prospects, originating from the Sukhoi Su-27. The Su-33 was specifically engineered for operations aboard aircraft carriers, notably the Admiral Kuznetsov. The design process commenced in 1984, culminating in its maiden flight in May 1985 and subsequent service entry in 1994. To adapt to the demanding environment of carrier operations, several modifications were implemented, reinforced structure and undercarriage, enhanced to withstand the rigors of carrier takeoffs and landings. Folding wings and stabilators, incorporated to facilitate storage within the limited space of an aircraft carrier. Canards, added to improve maneuverability and reduce takeoff distances. A rester hook and twin nose wheel, installed to aid in carrier landings and provide stability on deck. These design elements collectively enabled the Su-33 to operate effectively from the Admiral Kuznetsov, fulfilling roles such as air superiority, fleet defense, and ground attack missions. The Su-33 is equipped with a suite of avionics designed to enhance its combat effectiveness. Fire control system, facilitates the detection, tracking, and engagement of multiple targets. Navigation systems, includes Doppler radar and global positioning systems for accurate navigation. Electronic countermeasures, provides defense against enemy radar and missile systems. Communication systems, ensures reliable data link and voice communication capabilities. These systems collectively contribute to the Su-33's operational versatility in various combat scenarios. The Su-33 officially entered service with the Russian Navy in 1998, primarily operating from the Admiral Kuznetsov. Its operational history includes participation in several naval exercises and deployments. Notably, during the Russian military intervention in Syria starting in 2015, Su-33S conducted airstrikes against ground targets. However, the deployment faced challenges, including the loss of at least two aircraft due to issues with the carrier's arresting gear. Despite its capabilities, the Su-33 has encountered several challenges. Limited production and export, approximately 22 units were produced, and attempts to export the Su-33 were unsuccessful. Notably, China opted to develop its own variant, the Shenyang J-15, after acquiring an Su-33 prototype from Ukraine. Carrier dependence, the Su-33's operational effectiveness is closely tied to the availability of the Admiral Kuznetsov, which has faced prolonged maintenance periods, limiting deployment opportunities. Competition from other aircraft, the MiG-29K, offering better ground attack capabilities and versatility, has been considered a more suitable option for carrier operations. As of 2025, the Su-33 remains in limited service with the Russian Navy. However, given its operational challenges, limited production run, and the ongoing issues with Russia's sole aircraft carrier, the future of the Su-33 appears uncertain. It may eventually be phased out in favor of more modern and versatile aircraft better suited to the current needs of naval aviation. The Sukhoi Su-33 Flanker D represents a significant chapter in the evolution of carrier-based aviation for the Russian Navy. Its design innovations and operational deployments have demonstrated both its capabilities and limitations. As naval aviation continues to evolve, the lessons learned from the Su-33's service life will undoubtedly inform the development and deployment of future carrier-based aircraft.